Yeah, what's up guys? Uh, welcome back. In my previous video, I showed each one of these board, and I told you in my next video I will be comparing the two so that you guys will know the perfect one to get for that your headphone amplifier project you want to build. Okay, so let's see today. Let's look at it together because I don't want to just say this is the best one so that you guys won't penalize me. Okay, so we'll look at the two together. Okay, this is LM386 and this is MPXH. Uh, 887 okay you can see that on Alibaba if you want to know best on it check my previous video okay so let's compare the two today so that you know the best one to get okay so I have my VC here which is for my battery side and this is my grand I've showed that if you want to get a connection check my previous video you can see it. this is VC the positive side this is the negative this is additional negative and this is for the input this is the output side why for this one too we have the output here we have the input at the middle here and we have our battery connection okay so let's just run it this is my power you understand I have my power here okay so this is the positive side we'll check the two together okay so this is the first but let's connect the positive side together now okay we are connecting it okay it's connected now we have the negative side here okay this is the negative side so you can just connect these two together too okay I have my negative side connected now so this stuff must come up okay it's up already okay so since it's up if, you, if I touch it you can hear that sound now right so that is to tell you that this stuff is on now so okay so I have this my stuff here my jack I'll be connecting to our phone okay so the positive side will be coming to the positive side of this side okay so let's connect this here Okay, why the negative side will be going to the negative of that my battery source also. Okay, as you can hear that, all the owner is died down. Okay, so that is set to. Now the second board to let's connect it, let's loop them together. I know this may be a bit complicating, but just at any point you get confused, just pause the video and, and check it better. Okay, okay. Now this is the second board. This is the positive side, this is the negative side, and this is for our main input. Okay, so the second board, the red pole is here. So let's connect it to our main power source positive pole. Hmm. Okay. So the power so the negative pole now will be coming to this side, which is our ground. Now this is our main signal, this is our ground here now. So we'll be connecting this here. Okay. So let's check maybe it's on too. Can you hear that? You can hear for this one, this is his own side. You can hear the sound. The sounding. Okay. So let's just take the negative pole of this one also to here. So, so this is the positive for this side. For this side, this is the positive. For this one, please don't get confused, guys. Uh, follow me, please. Okay. For this MP uh, MP eight eight seven board. This is the main input source. This is a general negative pool. You understand? This is the positive pool for this one, for this LM386. So, this is for this. Okay, let me show you better. So, this is for this. Why? This is for this. You understand now? Okay. So, now if I connect this automatically, this guy is connected. So, when we check this one, we just remove the, the connection here. Put this one so that we'll be able to compare them better. Okay. So let me plug this now to uh, let me let me use my radio. Okay. okay. The volume will be constant. You understand guys? The volume will be constant. So I will use a constant volume. I'm using a radio so that it will be somehow, you understand? The volume will be constant. So we'll see the one that can handle high volume, low volume, and the way they sound better, okay? So this is for the first one. This LM386, I'm playing it now. Oh, 
well, let, let me try and play through this my interface. Maybe it will be better. Okay, this is the problem. So, let me see what I can do. Since we have an issue with that stuff, let's just use this already. Just bear with me, please. Okay. okay. I'm not seeing the station where they are playing any good music. Now, this is lm 3 h is playing. You can see the way the wave is sounding. They are very terrible. Now, let's now switch to the Let's remove it now and put the other one. So, let's see the one that will sound better. You can see. This one is shutting down immediately. No output at all. Let's play it back. Okay, yeah, okay. Let's put this one back now. Okay. Can you hear the difference, guys? <laughs> let, let, let me plug this one, okay? This is the LM386. This one, you understand? This pool here. Okay, let me play the radio again. Can you hear the way it's sounding? I'm purposely using radio so that you guys will see the way they can handle different highways. Okay, this is the first one. So let me remove that one and put this small pod, this one. Let's put it and see the difference now. Okay, let me play it. Can you see? Uh, can you see the way it's sounding? Okay, let's do this one now. Can you hear the difference? Actually, it's not that this... Okay, now let's drop the volume. Let's drop the volume now. Let's drop the volume, okay. Let's drop the volume, let's... Can you still hear it? You can still see the way it's sounding. The reason it's sounding is because they cannot share the same light together. And if you look at this one now, you can see this one is sounding fine. So one thing I will just say about this two list stuff. If you look at that, my video, I'm not saying this board is bad. It's not bad. It's okay too, okay? It's just that this one, you can see I'm using just uh, 3.7 volt to power them. And I'm sharing the voltage between the two of them. So this one with a load volume, it can still perform fine. So within 3.7 to 5 volt, it's still performing well. Why this one requires that standard voltage? So because it's sharing it with this one, it's not sounding fine. And mind you, in that your board, you know, at times, even though when you are playing, you know, you may have power shortage. Maybe the power, the voltage drops. You don't want the sound to sound very, very terrible. You understand? So... <laughs> you understand what I'm saying right now, so just make the decision. You have the two options. So in case you want to build out your board or you have a DIY to just play with, okay? So just go for, you, you know the one to go for, okay? At least I've showed you guys. So just go for the one you think is better. So this is LM380s. So one of the things you can see, you can see this one has light indicator. This one doesn't have. This one has volume control. This one doesn't have, okay? There's a capacitor here we have here. We have the LM386 board, we have board here, we have some mini chips and the rest here. So guys, the two of them are okay. So based on the nature of your project, this one requires more light. This one with small light, it will still sound fine and okay. So the two of them are okay. Just go for the one you decide and you prefer. Thank you so much. If you find this video very helpful, do it to like and subscribe to this channel. See you in my next video. Thank you.